Check, 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 check. Ta-da! We have a very serious um, lighting happening in the background, right? Today we are finally doing our slow feed test on the Easypresso ZP6. This is going to be the fourth, I think fourth um, slow feed test that we're gonna do. If you're wondering why I have a different handle, this is actually the ZP6 special. Um, that, was that was released by Barista Essentials PH. Um, so the original ZP6 doesn't have a handle like this. It has a handle just like the Comandante, but um, the rumors, the rumors said that there is a lawsuit filed against Easy Presso regarding their crank handle. So we don't know the truth behind that. So this is a very popular filter grinder. It is known for its um, clarity. We're gonna be able to get a glimpse of the reason why is that in this video. We are going to take this apart. So we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna do the slow feed test to see if it actually works on this Easy Presso. Let me get all the things that I need first before we start so that we can do this continuously. Normally, slow feed tests take a uh, quite a while because of all the tests that we're gonna do so hopefully this one is going to be a breeze if you haven't seen my step-by-step -step guide to disassembling your zp6 i'm gonna put the link here i'm gonna be showing you how to disassemble your zp6 as well but um, i'm gonna try to um, speed up the process so that we can do a lot more at, at the end of this video. Um, in order for us to do the right assessment for the microfine particles and the particle distribution. Um, we're gonna have to clean this before we start doing the test. Get rid of all, look. Those are the retentions of the ZP6. So we're just gonna quickly brush those up. Okay, if you have any question um, regarding the disassembly of your ZP6, don't hesitate to leave your questions below in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them. But again, if you want the step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, because I'm trying to I'm trying to speed up the process right now. But if you want to watch that step-by-step -step guide. I might put the link in the description also so that you have a quick reference. Um, in that video, I did the disassembly and then the assembly part and even the calibration. So that is a very, very good video to serve as a guide when you want to clean your um, ZP6. Okay, right. Now everything is clean. Um, we're gonna put it back back together again we have our test beans here again we have a new batch of test beans let's weigh 15 grams that was the metric of our test even even before even the very first one In the previous slow feed test episodes, um, I used the conversion of 23 clicks on the Comandante for all of the grinders. Here in the ZP6, the 23 clicks converts to 6.5. 6.5. 
and so we're gonna start so this is going to be our control so we're gonna start oh it took me 24 seconds to finish that um, 15 gram dose the time more c3 is in the same range around 20 clicks um, we're gonna load it onto the crew sifter now and then we're gonna shake for 30 seconds right oh It really is very um, uniform. The quality of the Easy Presso ZP6 grinds are very uniform. Right. Um, we're gonna start. Okay, 30 seconds. Mm. Let's wait for the boulders. Huh? Okay, we have 10.2. We're gonna wait for the mid size. Look at the mid size. 4.2. That's very weird to me. It seems like the ZP6. Um, grind size is focused on the boulders instead of the mid-sized because that is the larger segment on this that's why when i said that the conversion of the easy presso zp6 is 6.5 to the 23 clicks of the commandante nobody believed me yeah anyway yeah that is the particle distribution and next we are Weighing for, look at the fine particles on this one. I'm gonna get a wave filter. And we have 0 0.2, 0 0.2. If we add that up, we have 10.2 plus 4.2 plus 0 0.2 is six. 14.6, we have 0.4 retention. So that is our control. So the first slow feed test that we're gonna do is we are literally gonna feed the beans, um, maybe a couple or a number, maybe just a small a number of beans each time and then grind them and then put another batch and then grind them until we finish the 15 gram dose. All right. Same settings, of course. Timer. Yeah, the falling of the beans is part of this uh, method. Alright, next batch. We finished one minute and 45 seconds. So it's still fast, actually. Let's try and check the weight of this. Now we're gonna shake the crew sifter. 30 seconds. Right. Again, this is the first slow feeding test. I think we have bigger boulders this time. And we have... Ooh, 10.7. We have more boulders this time. <laughs> oh, if you have a crew at home and you want to do this test as well, the sifters or the sieves that I'm using is um, 1,100 microns on the first level and then 300 microns to sift out the microfine particles. Right, we end up with 10.8. 
Our time is 1 minute and 45 seconds. Now we're gonna wait for the mid-size. The mid-size we have, I think, 4.1. Ooh, I'm excited. I think we have um, less fines this time. Zero point two still, ten point eight plus four point one, zero point two is yeah we have fifteen grams, so no retention at that second. Next, we're gonna do the tilting action. This approach of tilting the grinder is actually my concept. When somebody approached me to do this, the putting in the beans one by one so grinding your coffee this way and then tilting it from time to time to let the coffee beans in one by one so that is the second slow feed test and then we're gonna do it right now put in all your coffee beans same settings 6.5 and then we're gonna start So we finished that 15 grams at 46 seconds. Oh, just twice of the um, control. That's really fast, actually. I think the Comandante, um, on a normal, normal way of grinding, you finish your 15 gram dose. Around that time, maybe 30 to 40 seconds. Start the timer for 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds. The boulders look like this. Now we're gonna wait for the boulders. This is um, actually looking quite the same as the first one, as our control. We have 10.3. Next, we're gonna wait for the mid-size. Right, and we have um, 3.9 wow we have even less mid-size this time right now look at the microfine particles right this looks way less than the other two right let's get our paper filter Scale did not register that. Let me get my smaller scale. Let's check if it is still calibrated. All right, still calibrated. Now the paper is one gram. All right, so we have 0.159. Right, wow. Yeah, actually that says a lot. The reason why the ZP6 is so high in clarity is because the intended, the intended grind size is actually producing boulders instead of the mid-size. Remember, the mid-size is the mix of different sizes. Um, it actually gives you the flavor of your coffee. But if you have a lot of different um, sizes 
compressed into that punch. Imagine you have you have eight different spices in your um, in your food, right? You put eight different condiments, right? So that is actually the mid size. If your grinder has the highest percentage of mid size over the boulders and the fines, that's okay. That's fine because you you have more flavorful coffee. Um, but the the problem with that is the the combination of all these flavors. They sometimes blur the lines of um, the flavor separation. Whereas in the case of um, in the case of Easy Presso ZP6. Um, it produces a lot less fine, 50% 50 50 in fact, of the boulders. So the boulders actually gives you great brightness, really good acidity in your cup, um, tea-like qualities, um, and then you get your, your sweetness, the body from your mid-size and your fine particles. So if you have very small quantities of the mid-size and the fine particles, then you have low sweetness but really good um, brightness, acidity, and at the same time, clarity. You have very clear separation of different flavors. Right. So that is why. So in conclusion, um, if you do the slow feed test number one on the ZP6, it will increase your acidity, your brightness, but the mid-size and the fine particles stay the same. Okay? And if you do the tilting action, um, the slow feed test tilting action, it will maintain the amount of boulders that you get, but you have less fines and minimal mid-size, but you have high retention. So. I guess you just have to offset and add a bit more coffee on your dose, right? Yeah, I think we'll end the video here. We're gonna do the Comandante soon. I am trying to hold off on that Comandante because I have a friend who um, actually developed a product that you can attach on your Comandante to do the slow feeding for you, right? Are you excited as I am? So I'm still waiting for his prototype. So I'm sure, I'm sure we can get our hands on that um, slow feeding um, product soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye.